as legislators and representatives of the people, your role is very crucial to our nation's development. You are the eyes and ears of the government and the grassroots. As women, we constitute a significant portion of our society, and it is vital that our voices are heard and our contributions acknowledged. I therefore encourage you to set a robust legislative agenda for advocacy, empowerment, and welfare that will be beneficial to the well-being of our women in your various constituencies. We must dismantle cultural biases. We must dismantle unequal access to resources and opportunities. Furthermore, empowering women through mentorship programs, leadership trainings, ensuring their voices are heard, while a crucial aspects of fostering an environment where they can flourish and contribute meaningfully to the political and legislative processes. As legislators, we hold a unique responsibility. We was an act law that promotes inclusion and cultivates the culture of inclusivity within our institutions. This requires building a supportive environment, the structures that empower women's voices and challenge discriminatory practices. A groundbreaking endeavor championed by our father, my boss, Mr. Speaker, right on over Abbasad the PhD. This initiative aspires to narrow the gender divide and empower women across all spheres advocating for genuine commitment, collaboration, and amplification of women's voices in the processes. The speaker and leadership of the 10th House of Representatives have demonstrated the deep commitment to advancing women's rights and ensuring gender equity in all four forms of our agenda. Under the visionary leadership of the Speaker, the House has actively pursued initiatives and reforms that underscores a commitment to women's rights. The agenda of the House has prioritized constitutional amendments aimed at eliminating gender disparities and ensuring women's equal participation in all aspects of our society. It is about fostering a culture where the voices of women from all walks of life resonate, where their ideas are embraced, and where their contributions are celebrated. It urges us to create spaces where every woman, regardless of her background, the leadership, the inclusion of the underprivileged, the inclusion of the underprivileged in our decision-making process is one of the key pillars of women inclusion. Without including them, without considering their opinions, without looking at their plights, we cannot achieve gender equality. And leadership without that can never be limited. I'm going to make a case for inclusion of women in the corporate sector. I've heard people talk about inclusion of women in parliament um, in, and in government. Nivea as a company was founded about 10 years ago. We basically trade um, and export agricultural commodities out of Nigeria. Um, but when we started 10 years ago, we had a male-dominated workforce. At our corporate office, or even in our warehouses across Nigeria, maybe in Kano, Kaduna, Yeboi, wherever.